Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and um, question that came uh, for both Windows 10 and Windows 11 and I'll do two separate videos because they're two different operating systems. Uh, the question that came is so what's next for Windows 10 since they've added a new insider ring to test out. It means new things should be coming in the future. Well, that's the funny thing about the um, Windows 10 operating system is that it's a little more than a year away from you know being gone. I mean, October 2025 is end of support, um, and it is true that it's kind of interesting to see that they've added a Windows Insider program ring to go to beta channel. So. What that means is they have the intention of maybe adding something or adding new stuff to it. They wouldn't do this if it was not the fact that they're planning some new features. And of course, one of the things that will come to mind is why do you want to have new features in an operating system that anyways is going away in less, you know, in a year, not even a year and a half now. Uh, this is what Microsoft is all about. Surprises all the time. Um, so some people, of course, are saying there's going to be a free extension. I think it's going to be a paid extension. I don't think Microsoft is, uh, really cares of ha having it free because they want people to move on to Windows 11. Now, what do we know and what is coming next? Of course, we will have the security updates. Uh, we know that 22H2 is the last version, so there's not going to be any big changes whatever comes to windows 10 in the next year will be minor updates minor tweaks uh that will make it to windows 11 and they do will actually move it to windows 10 also but i don't expect really big changes honestly there's nothing much that's going to happen to windows 10 i don't think so the operating system is going to continue working then we'll have a choice and of course there'll be pop-ups that are going to start annoying us and saying hey you know you, you're getting at the end of of the uh, support and uh, you better change some of you already have seen some of that uh, one of the things that is also going to happen at some point is when they do announce there's an extension and the price because a lot of people are using the price of enterprise which is not the price that will pay as consumers they haven't announced the consumer price they only announce the price for business i would suppose there's going to be a pop-up that's going to say hey you want to have extended windows 10 updates for security well here's how to do it and here's how much it's going to cost um, that is also something that's going to happen. But for the next, uh, for the rest of this year, if we have a few features, it'll be, you know, minor. Um, but then it will be mostly, okay, here we go. Here's extensions are possible. You've got to uh, click here, and this is how much it's going to cost. And if you pay, well, you'll get one year, two years, three years. Is it going to be a package of three full years? or just yearly updates that you'll be able to pay every year. I would guess that they probably will make it a yearly thing, but they did say three years. Of course, there's zero patch that I talked about, which will be five years. Um, this is all about, you know, extending it for sure. Some people will pay for it. Uh, and a question that came today, which is, should I, keep Windows 10 and continue paying and wait until maybe Windows 12 is happening. We have no idea of Windows 12 when it's going to happen. We pretty much are sure there will be one at some point. But as long as Windows 10 is going to be an option, I don't think 12 is going to show up because it'll make too many oper operating systems to take care of at the same time. So... I don't expect not even next year Windows 12. And if you are to buy a PC, it's very simple. Just buy and make sure you buy a PC that is capable of, you know, that has an NPU that is powerful enough to have 
those AI features that will ensure your Windows 12 um, compatibility probably uh, but you know we don't know anything about the future for Windows 12 and anything there um, there is a big leap in minimum requirement to Windows 11 I don't think there'll be a big leap in Windows 12 if you are AI capable already uh, but you know we'll see what happens and we'll see how popular these things happen you know how popular will the AI stuff be and um, you know is recall gonna take on and people are gonna love it I don't know this is all the way Microsoft is gonna do it we'll decide if it works or not but for now Windows 10 I don't expect a lot so you're going to be pretty quiet. We'll have the updates for security and for bug fixes. Uh, the bug fixing update for Windows 10 are going to stop at some point. N and so um, at some point, probably next year, it'll be only a once a year, uh, se once a year, once a month security update until October. And then we'll see what happens there. And, um, you know, as we move on to the decisions, what do we do when we get there? I'll be, of course, making more videos and giving ideas and, and, and you know, we'll all be moving together towards where we will be and where we'll need to be at, the po at some point. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.